So, Ms. Rielman Royston, welcome to this interview. Now, of course, we've spoken many times about Turkey's accession to the EU. Again, we have another progress report. Do you think Turkey's accession has become a bit of a running joke? In 2005 already, Turkey committed to reform. Reform to be a uh, democratic state, to have a rule of law, to have an independent and impartial justice. What we see now is that there were reforms. But some of the reforms, and particular those in judicial uh, area, are taken back. So what I do in my report, which uh, uh, is presented now in the plenary, is that we ask Turkey come up with a new commitment. Because Turkey is and will be a strategic partner for the European Union. Last year we saw lots of... Uh, anti-government protests, um, everything escalated out of control and then more recently there's been curbs on you know, freedom of expression so that's not exactly a good indication of a country that should be joining the EU, no? What our plea is, also in my report, is the respect of all the freedoms. That is what binds us in Europe and Turkey should do that. Not only for our sake but for benefit of their own citizens. But I can't neglect that, if I look at the democratic opening towards the Kurds, lots is done. What I saw last week, that on the human rights, that there is legislation taken up uh, uh, for the, the, the uh, European uh, Council of Human Rights. So there are steps forward. But since December, or also steps backwards. What you always can say from Parliament's progress report is, as long as I could do it, is that we are open, we are fair, but we also criticize what has to be criticized. And I hope that Turkey will show a new commitment to that, what it promised to us in 2005. Now, you've said in the past that you do see a Europe with Turkey in it, and are we looking at maybe five years, ten years, fifteen? You once made a mistake to say uh, a country will join then and then. We would never ever do it once again. What is important for me is the Copenhagen criteria. That means the rule of law, independent impartial justice, and all the individual and collective rights, but also the freedoms, press, media, and also the unification of Turkey itself. The, the Kurdish people, it's quite important, but on that issue, uh, lots of reforms are already made.